Hi everybody, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. Today, I have an 8x10 canvas that I spray painted light blue. I am using colors from the Color Cottage. They're mica pigments, which I am totally obsessed with. I am using Seaside Blue, Totally Teal, Sapphire Blue, and White on this little canvas. And we're going to see what we can get. I already pre-mixed my resin. I am using Art Resin. It is a mixture of one part hardener to one part resin. I stirred it together for three minutes. I put just a little scoop with my tongue depressor, a little scoop of the mica pigment into the cup and stirred that together. And here's my colors in these little one ounce shot glasses. And I'm going to get started. And I don't care where these go, I'm just going to put them on here, blend them together. It's Marajuki. My dog's walking around. So if you hear all kinds of weird noises, that's him. Now it's really cold today. It's like in the 40s um, already. <laughs> I'm in the state of Pennsylvania for some weird reason. We got some strange weather going on. I'm just going to pour these wherever I think they'd look good. I'm going to blend them together anyway, so it really doesn't matter, like, where they go. Well, it kind of does, but you can kind of put them anywhere you want. And that's all my colors. Um, I do have a quite a bit extra. Yeah, let's put a little bit more right here. And then I'm going to use clear on the rest. And I have some clear mixed up. I'm just going to pour this on. I mixed up a lot of clear because I have to do a second coat on my... I made some coasters earlier and I got to do a second coat of clear on them. Before they get sold. And this is just going to fill in the blue. Where there's no resin. This is just going to... Make it look like I put blue resin on there. Okay, so I'm going to get my heat gun and move this around. And there's a lot, I pop all those bubbles. Like I said, it's cold out, so it might take a little while for this to warm up and get moving. Now I'm just going to move this from side to side, try to cover my canvas, get this warmed up and have this move around a little bit. It's pretty loud. I like it already. And I just want to push these out. Push some of these colors over top of the other colors. Wow, I just lost a lot of that, trying to cover that little corner. I'm going to heat this up. Which I might have to do, because it's not 
what I'm looking for. Okay, so I am gonna add, shut that off, you guys don't need to hear that the whole time. I am gonna add my resin into my cup. So I poured some resin, actually I poured a little bit too much. And now I'm gonna get my sapphire blue and mix that in. Now I added a little bit more blue than I probably should have. So this one's gonna be quite a bit, quite concentrated compared to the other blue. The more pigment you put in your color, the darker it's gonna be, as you can see. But I kinda of like that, I like, I wanna pop, I want it to pop. That looks better. That looks a lot better, huh? Sorry for the light above. I can't control that. But I like that. I think it looks pretty now. We're going to put this aside and do another one. And if you guys haven't seen my video on how to keep your paintings dust free, um, I did a tutorial on dust-free and dimples and stuff like that. It helps. I think this is pretty. I'm going to set this aside. Let's go. Come on, you want to go for a walk? Come on, get out. Let's go. No? Okay. <laughs> 